All right, what's up? I want to talk about um, a process that will help you go free and move on from patterns of conflict within relationships that repeat themselves over and over and over again um, within the same relationship. Or this works really for just any conflict enmeshment that you have in any relationship. So um, another way to say it is if you're triggered or triggered by someone else's triggers. And this is important. It can make life, I don't know, 10,000% better. So let's turn up. So here we go. This is what it is. Somebody's got you triggered, right? The way they're acting is, is unconscious, is negative. It's got you angry. It's got you resentful. It's got you whatever it is, afraid. Um, and for whatever reason, you are going to still be in this person's life. This isn't an, uh, a, a, yet a deal breaker. You're still dealing with them and the situation. So what do we do? We turn up into the fact that if this feeling is coming up in you in response to the way that they're acting, that means that there is a similar emotional um, pattern within you, or you might say a similar um, emotional frequency or range. It might not be the same form. It might look very different. That's the confusing thing because a lot of times we live in our heads and in logic and we're like, I would never do what that person's doing. I don't understand why this person's doing that. I don't get it. I don't get it. And this is sort of this logical um, attack on the way that things are and the way that th they are being. And I get it. Like I sympathize. Sometimes it seems like people are being very rational and that might be true on this level of logic. But the thing about that level of logic is it's a very, very um, thin sliver of truth and beneath that layer of logic is a is the deep fundamental structural foundation of what is really um, perpetuating the conflict and it, logic cannot touch that and um, you know just to, to case in point would be you know say you have a, a relationship with someone that's gone on for 20 30 40 years and the same conflicts might be perpetuating even though on a logical level trying to solve them and maybe you spend thousands of hours trying to think why they should be different or what you can say. If we don't touch that subterranean realm, that the foundations underneath it, it will not change. So this is one technique that can do it. We'll get into this stuff right now. Check it out. The technique, if you feel this trigger, now let go of, 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 of what's right or wrong. Let go of morals, let go of your logic and just feel the feeling, feel what the story is. Get in, let, let that feeling be there turn up into it, let it just exist and explore it. And you will see, you will come to see if you sit with it just long enough. Sometimes it doesn't take that long really, but really just allow it without the stories running, go back to the feeling. You will see that you have a matching, um, you have your own version of whatever negative emotions that that person is acting through towards you in yourself. You know, whatever it's fear, it's doubt, it's worry, it's anger. It, there's going to be something brought up in a different form, but the same essence will be there. And when you realize that, and then you are or be with that, and you're okay with the fact that that's in you, and you can accept that, and um, you know allow for that energy to be there, and still start to transcend it, you'll see um, that will also open up the avenue for compassion towards that other person, compassion towards yourself, and compassion towards the other person. And this is the first real way that we can get above the situation and get above that level of conflict because so often we want to just like be above it you know we want to get above it and be better than but a lot of times um that turns into a sort of holier than now or like a, a resistance to the situation like no you know putting it off like that um putting the person off and that doesn't bring connection it doesn't solve the conflict so um again really it's just to look at the truth of what is happening what is inside of you and what is there and and being okay with it and healing it within yourself and just understanding that the other person too is suffering and that's why they're acting that way and that is the way to get above it know you're low and that will get you high it will get you up to that level where then you actually have compassion and whatever words come out of your mouth, whatever logic or whatever form of communication then comes out of your mouth, even if it's to realize you have to set a boundary or end something, um, whatever it is, you, that's the place where you have more power, more clarity, more influence, and just um, more magnetism around everything that you do. So um, that's the paradoxical truth. When we accept the lowness in ourself, <laughs> paradoxically, that's the only way to get above it. <laughs> oftentimes with these conflicts. Um, so turn up into that. I hope that that can give you uh, just a small shift and think about this. If there's any repetitive conflicts that take up a lot of your headspace and 
mind and thoughts uh, in a relationship you have just to really sit with the essence and understand that there is something in you that is a, a match to that emotionally and if you heal that it will help you get to that level and heal the communication in your relationship and um, I think that is true intelligence not all the logic that is on the surface go through down to the deep intelligence of the conscious all the way up to the conscious and turn up into it and uh, go free y'all Love you. Peace out.